My name is Anne and I'm from Pioneer Pet. I'm here today to go through some troubleshooting with our new ceramic and stainless steel fountains. We have a couple of issues that are happening. One concerning the pump and another concerning the pump housing. Um, I'm going to start with the pump housing. The pump housing is the white plastic clamshell like shaped unit. It houses both the pump and the filter. The pump sits inside the pump housing so that the so that the spout is next to a small hole the cord wraps around and goes through. Three spouts, the spout from the pump, the spout from the pump housing, and then the spout from the inside cover must all line up for proper water flow. Our next issue that we are having is um, we are hearing that the pumps are running very slow and sluggish. On page 9 in your owner's manual, there is a pump maintenance section. And I'm going to go through right now how to take the pump apart and clean the pump so that um, you have a continuous water flow. This pump comes completely apart so that you can clean the inside of the pump as well. We first start by taking this face plate, which is the vented plate, off of the pump. And this just snaps off, comes apart like so, leaving this switch piece with the cover that surrounds the impeller. That also just kind of snaps off. If you can get your thumb underneath where the underneath the lever and just pull off, that comes out as well. And then that reveals the impeller. The impeller is held in magnetically. I use a paper clip to just kind of get the impeller out, kind of grab it with your fingers, and that pulls out as well. Then what you want to do is just run this underwater, get that all cleaned out inside. Um, once that's all cleaned out, you also want to wash off the impeller. Make sure that the uh, magnetic um, piece there, or the metal piece there is all cleaned off. Um, clean off your base plate, clean off this cover as well. Then you simply just put this back together. The stator goes right on top. I will mention here that this stator has the switch. You want this switch um, all the way to the, if you're looking at the pump underneath the spout, okay? Um, this opens up the flow hole. You want that to be opened up so that the water goes into the flow hole and the, um, it will pump through. And then you put the faceplate back on. I suggest that you test the pump in, just inside the basin of your fountain. And all you have to do there is put the pump inside the basin and plug it in and you will see that it should spout just like so if it's not spouting unplug it and repeat and repeat the process um, once it is working take the pump out of the water and put everything back together um, Pump house, the pump goes into the pump housing, again, so that the spout is next to the slot. Bring the cord around, put it into that small hole. Pump housing cover, oh, I'm sorry, we gotta put the filter in. Filter goes in. Pump housing cover on top. Once you have everything back into the um, pump housing, you can thread the, the cord through Slot. Go ahead and place your pump housing right into the fountain basin. Make sure that your spouts are lined up. There we go. There we go. Once you have the unit plugged in, it will take a few minutes for the water to filter through and up through the spouts. And you will see now that we have a steady flow and a steady pump. These are the steps to the pump housing and pump maintenance. Page 9 in your manual, 101 in pump maintenance and housing. Thank you, and if you have further questions, contact us at customer service at pioneerpet.com. Thank you.